Hello everyone, and a welcome to the stream. This is Otaku Showboat. Today is Thursday, September 10th, 2020. If you are watching the VODs on YouTube, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff below the video. You can, of course, follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash otakushowboat. You can support Planetons Mods Development at patreon.com slash planeton and myself at patreon.com slash otakushowboat. Yes. Ollie is here. Say say hello, Ollie. My Ollie. He's he is with us. As I begin the stream. That's my that's my pretty pretty overweight kitten. Kitten. The nearly six month old kitten. About about five days. They'll be they'll be six months old. Half half a year old. Yeah. My pretty babies. Dolly is looking at me from afar. She's she is looking from afar from from on high on the back of the other chair. Yes, you're looking at me. What what do you want? She's she's looking at the bar of the green screen like she wants to try to get to it, but Ollie's in the way right now. Just just don't try to jump on the other light bar. That would be great. That would that would be great. The last thing I need is to have a light falling down. All right, let's get into the game. Uh, just you know, just because, just because. Uh, so a few things I wanted to actually talk about before we really get in and start playing here. I guess I'll just go back because I'm I'm not playing right now. Um, the other day, um. I decided that I would join uh the Xbox Game Pass. Like I would that I would start up a membership with the Xbox Game Pass for PC, which when I signed up was beta and first month is $1. Like later that day, Microsoft announces that EA Play is going to be added onto the Game Pass for PC. Where did she go? Oh. So, yeah, that was that was a thing. Uh, it's like, okay, so now this thing that already has a bunch of games on it at a really good value, now it's going to get even more value by adding in EA titles to the, to the list of stuff that you get access to as a subscriber to this service. And then, as of, like, I don't know, a little, little bit ago, they also have announced, oh, hey, we're ending the beta, and now we're going to start charging the normal price that had been advertised as being the normal price for the longest period of time uh, of $10 per month rather than $5 per month uh, U.S. Now, that being said, it's still really good value even at $10. Like, I'm still going to stay a subscriber of this. Like, I have... I have determined at this point that, yes, this is a really good value of a thing, and I'm going to stick with it, even though I do, like, I do own a lot of the stuff that's on here, but, I mean, not everything, which is the whole point. Uh, in particular, what I wanted to play, the, the thing that drove me to do the $1 initial subscription to the Xbox Game Pass is that it has Crusader Kings 3. That is that is what it had that made me want to do it because I'll be honest. I have Crusader Kings 3. It was uh, hello. Welcome. On my wish list for Steam. There's there's Dolly. Hello hello. Please please don't jump on the on the thingy. Please, please don't jump on the th on the thingy. That would be not very nice. Uh, so it was on my wish list, but I've been hesitant. I've been, I've been hesitant, Dolly. Dolly. <laughs> Thank you. Been hesitant to actually buy it, uh, just because it's not a type of game I usually play. As in, it doesn't have set goals. It's very much sandboxy, and I don't tend to do so well with sandboxy type of games that don't have a like 
real clear goal in mind uh or presented to you at the from the start like things like factorio that we're playing here there's a goal to reach a certain level of technology and build a certain set of things right there's there's an inherent goal to meet not as much with crusader kings as a series so I didn't know if I was going to really enjoy it or not, even though I've watched a lot of content of it. So this has given me an opportunity, and yeah, I'm, it's not, I'm not that hooked on it, I think, even after playing a little bit of it. It's like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It, it would have to grow. It's not like I'm instantly uh, enthralled buy it which uh yeah means that i've just saved the 60 dollars to or however much it would have been to buy crusader kings whether i bought the base version of it or the version with the expansion pass like that's that's fine uh but there were also a whole bunch of other games that are on offer through the xbox game pass that i've been like meaning to play and meaning to buy but haven't decided to buy yet and others it's like oh hey this is here may as well give it a try type things uh so things like astroneer things like forager which is actually on the list of titles that are being given away for the humble monthly choice thing going on right now uh for this for this month so it's like okay i can i can try out forager before i own it <laughs> later on in this month. Uh, also, Undermine, I've been meaning to play. Uh, Darksiders 3, I've been meaning to, to, to play. The Ori and the Will of the Wisps, things, things along those lines, and a uh, few others that may not be as good that I'm not uh, totally thrilled by, but will at least try. And of course, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Hello, Dolly. Welcome. Welcome back. Please... Do not, do not jump onto that bar. Dolly, 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 get down. Uh, I've caught a Dolly. I've caught, I caught a Dolly. Hello. My sweet, my sweetheart. Yes, you're my sweetheart. Please exist down on the, on the lap or something on the floor. That would be great. Uh, so that's my thoughts on that. I am... Currently playing Astroneer, and that one is a game that I am instantly hooked into, so that one I will I will be probably playing that one until I finish any other like greater goal that is part of that game, because that one that one hooked me. Uh basically immediately. So yeah, that that's that's nice. That's that's nice. I still have like Ollie's rear end on my shoulder. <laughs> he's he's resting his back his back end on my shoulder with all of his weight, which I'm sure by now is like seven pounds range ish. He's getting to be big kitty. He is he is big kitty. So what did we do last time? And what are we gonna be doing today? That's the theme of my beginning of the of the streams. So Huh. Oh boy. Last time, we made it through Etching Solution. That's basically it. Uh, I switched over this AUG build. I feel... I feel tongue on my hair. Hello? Ollie? What are, what are you up to? There, he's... He's grooming himself now and was, like, kept clipping my hair with it. That said, Dolly has been up there and she legit was trying to actually groom my- groom me, uh, with licking my hair. She's- she actually was trying to do that, but not- not him. He- he doesn't do that. He's good boy. He's good boy for not doing that. Uh, so I flipped over an AUG build over to Lard. Uh, that I needed for the etching solution. This was formerly uh, bone meal, but because I have Ulrich now and I wanted to do this anyway, I have added Ulrich 
bone meal based uh Ulric or Ulric based bone meal, excuse me. And uh yeah, it's it's doing it th it's doing its thing. It's producing a bunch. A bunch of, a bunch of bone meal. Uh, and then we went over and we did uh this little doohickey here that's making some hydrogen peroxide and taking in the lard and making the etching solution out of that. Today I'm going to continue on the path to PCB2s. Continuing along on the path to PCB2s, I have removed from this production line the etching solution and the sulfuric acid. I have, I have removed them completely here. So now we can focus on the remaining components of the PCB2s. We might not see PCB2s today just because this is a lot of infrastructure that will be required for this. Um, in particular, it's a lot of blood. It's, uh, it's a lot of blood. Now, I just want to do... I actually want to do a comparison. So that's 6.9 fish out of a bunch of fish farms for that 34 and a half blood. What would it be if it was augs instead? How many augs would that be? 38 on the very basic recipe. Yeah, that's... That's a no-brainer, especially when that's only like four megawatts of power plus the stuff to feed them. Um, it is a few cages, just to make that clear. Uh, I do have access. I could, I could very well do the AUG food uh, at this point, but I've got a thing that I can copy and paste. I've got a thing thing that I can simply copy and paste down wherever I want it. That's a whole bunch of augs basically on demand wherever I want them. Uh, the question is do I have... I don't have... Dang, that's sad. Uh, RoboPorts uh, along the way so that I can just have my robots build this AUG build that I have over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to one of them and edit it so that the bots can actually build it for me. That would be that would be quite ideal if the if the bots can build it for me. Now the one little problem about this build is that it does not actually have the cages in so I will need to put this like here like right in here or over here uh, just because that's where the cages are going to come in for this uh, I am going to probably actually edit brains over there uh, just to avoid some of the shenaniganry with some of the uh, belt lines oops I uh uh, I, I broke an AUG paddock. Whoops. It'll be fine. My bots will at least repair that one for me. Okay, RoboPorts coverage. I will need one. I will need two. There is not enough space here. Okay, that makes it a little bit more complex. What do I have to work with here? I can do it here, right here, and be fine. So that and that. And then the RoboPort can go down directly like that. And then I would need another one over here.
And then I would need another one. Over here. But I can put this one right there. No, I cannot. I cannot put the thing right there. But what I can do is put a thing here with power. And then it can place down the stuff in the things. I also need to be very careful about the power and how it handles all of that. Because that can be a little bit annoying. I'm actually going to put you... You extend all the way down to there, but I need to do this at the next double, so right in here. And then same old thing, grab that to place there. And then grab that to place there. Oh, I'm like short on water barrels. Huh. Good to know that I don't have enough water barrels. That's that's really good to know. Uh, so if I put a thing down here, it's not going to be able to cover those that top, but it should be good enough. So let's place a thing there and there. And then that should basically cover with the construction zones absolutely everything. I'm going to add one just for good measure right there. And that should be that. Uh, have I not gotten any uncaged augs? Uh, if not, what I can do is I can actually just put down a, uh, a doohickey that does the uncaging of the augs for me and just gives a provider chest like so with power. This splitter is going to prioritize the actual other stuff though. And, uh, yeah, it's things. Stuff. It will, it will give me cages and augs, but I, it doesn't matter in the slightest. Uh, this is also using the wrong pipes, so another thing I need to do is go in and upgrade the pipes. Oh, it's also upgrading all of the uh, power poles, too. Yeah, I guess that is fine as well. We can be completely upgraded. Fully and totally upgraded on here. And uh, the great thing is when I do a copy-paste of this, it will copy-paste everything as upgraded. It will not copy paste everything is upgraded what okay well that's a unfortunate part that's unfortunate uh, excuse me I did I did not call Amazon device I did not call your name I did I did not say your name I think I just heard a dolly climbing something but anyway I have, uh, by the way, I have been, like, losing my patience. In particular with Dolly. Uh, yesterday I was, I just snapped. I just, I just completely snapped. Just all, all patience was lost. It's gone out, thrown out the window. With their shenanigans, specifically hers, and all of the climbing and using her claws on me and uh, trying to climb up on top of all of the everything in this office. It was uh, not ideal. 
not ideal. I was not that happy. Let's make that clear. I was not that happy. Oh, here comes the uh, constructo bots. All of the all of the beautiful construction bots coming to upgrade the everything, and then I'll just copy and paste it over. In the meantime, you may have noticed that this is the nylon build, and that I have set this to output extra nylon. Uh, more than what I need in order to make the actual amount of nylon parts that I need. Technically speaking, I should tell this to do even more nylon parts, because nylon parts are used in small parts, aren't they? No, I am... I am a liar. Uh, they are used in the neuromorphic chips and the circuit 3 stuff as well, uh, not just the circuit 2 stuff. So we get into the concept of, well, do I do the nylon parts local, or do I just supply the nylon? I just, just supply nylon. That's going to be the idea here, is I will supply nylon, because it is going to be used in Kevlar advanced coating uh, okay, that's part of the new uranium chain. Uh, it's used in bio batteries, which is going to be a massive expense of nylon. Uh, it's used in diodes, which is part of circuit twos, transistors, which is part of circuit twos, fiberglass, which is part of circuit threes, and advanced small parts. And the advanced small parts. So it gets... <laughs> nylon is used in many, many stuffs and things uh, across the board. So I will want supply of that. Must have supply of that. Now, where will I do the actual nylon? Well, probably if I build the doohickey here... Uh, for the blood, uh, I will do the nylon in here, and I will supply the nylon as well as the uh, nylon parts uh, from that station. Uh, granted, uh, since I'm making the nylon parts to the amount of PCB2s that I need, maybe uh, this will be with the PCB2s. Because there's that also that consideration. Or uh, I just dedicate both of these to being just all of the other infrastructure that I need uh, for this. And we're going to import Fiberboard. Uh, I'm going to do Fiberboard in its own build as well. So there's that too. This deserves its own build. I'm just I'm just giving things a, a little bit of a think here because I know that I can fit this in a single doohickey uh, as long as I import sodium hydroxide we're fine. I would also need to import kickalk for the raw fiber. I do not have that much kickalk though. I am pretty certain that that's all of my kickalk alone. So, I would need another thingy of Kickalk 2. Which, yeah. About that. I do have a whole bunch of buffer, though. So, I guess we could, for the moment, think about just having the buffer on it. Uh, this is making like 2 per second of Kickalk. Uh, in this particular build, so I'm not I'm not concerned. This does not use lamps. This is a purely from water build that I can just plop down wherever I want. Needs a kickstart though, but hey, it it works. It works great. I can just paste it down wherever. Anyway, this should be fully up 
upgraded by now, so I can just grab a copy of you. Uh, and paste you down right there. And the robots shall build this thing. The robots will build for me. Uh, I do, however, need those cages in. So let's go ahead and do that now as I work towards this nylon. As I work to the nylon. Over this way. Over this way, please. I will need to split. Split. Split the cage. Excuse me. Split the cages. And we are off. Whoops. Okay, how do I get this through? Where do I want to do this? I can't bring it through there because I do not have the ability to jump five. I just can't go five. Because I'm on yellow belt right now and I won't be on red belt until I get through nylon at minimum. Uh, as well as, you know, stainless steel. Can I just do stainless steel at this point? If I supplied the phosphate rocks, I think so. No, it needs... It needs cobalt extract now. That's the uh, that's the thing about stainless steel. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's super steel. Yep, that's the thing. So I need rare earth processing before I can even think about doing the stainless steel stuff. Because not only is it phosphates, it's also cobalt extract, and that needs rare earth ore. Ah, <sighs> rare earth ore plus like nickel and copper for the mixed ores uh, as the first step in getting into cobalt extract. It's it's amazing how my memory works. By the way, that I'm actually able to you know know this off the top of my head like that. It's like oh, my memory works in very interesting ways. How are those robots doing? They are nearly arrived. They are almost here. I will need to do some further adjustments to this because, I mean, obviously it's giving brains and I need it to give, uh, blood. Blood, not brain! Blood! And, you know, the, the pipes, too, would, uh, would come in handy. Oh. Yeah, that uh, that could be a problem. There might be like one more. Oh. Okay, we're good. We are good now with that, and everything has the proper recipe, which is even better. I don't need the... Actually, I do need the... I do need the thing. This is only going to output cages, which is great. Means not as much logistic heavy stuff to have to worry about. I don't need that at all. It just needs to uh, do the thing there. And import the cages. Now, there is a very key thing that I need to take into account for this. This uses water barrels, uh, so I need to be able to make the barrels and store excessive amounts of the barrels. This needs to be a requester chest so that I can request steel. 
that's what I need out of you is steel. Uh, and I do have a chest for overflow on the empty barrels. I'm not worried about that for this very moment in time. I will eventually, eventually regret that. Now, I could wire this up. Uh, but you can't you can't wire a loader is the only problem here uh, like a legit problem here uh, so what I can end up doing is instead of using loaders that's actually too many not far too many I only need one one should be nice and good and I can attach it to that chest and I can be like hey you're going to be on for so long as there are fewer than a certain amount of empty barrels in that chest. As long as the empty barrels in that chest are fewer than 200, say, uh, you, are be you will be on less than or equal to. That should work. Uh, and you will be... Enabled if there are fewer than 200 of that, which means that it will be enabled at all times until I start to accrue stuff. And then it will stop making new, or stop shoving new barrels into this system, and that should work just fine for my puppuses, my porpoises. All right, bots need to do their botty thing. I apparently did not actually grab the thingy that gives the power. A apparently I didn't actually grab that power pole, which just, you know, messes absolutely everything up here, and I'm sure there might be bots stuck on some placed roboports, maybe? Don't know. Don't quite see it. Just give power, and give me, give me all of my logistic requests, that would be good too. Just like this should be getting its 500 delivered through my Logibots from all the way down here. From all the way down at my mall. This is the benefit of having everything in a single logistic network, even though I also have the train stations and the train network grid here. Uh, this is why I want to have the RoboPorts as part of my line. It's, it makes it easy for me to be lazy. That's that's the idea. It makes it easy to be lazy and not have to build all this myself, or have my nanobots even build all this out for me. I just need to pay very close attention to make sure that I have the correct power poles placed uh, on this. And that's a copy-pasteable unit. Like, I can just paste this down wherever, and it'll make a bunch of blood. In fact, it will make more blood than uh, than what I need, which is quite ideal. Quite ideal for me. Also, why have you not been placed yet? I do not know. I just don't know. Where are my Logibots? There's my Logibots. Coming to bring me stuff. They're going to... Ah, uh, they go charge and then they bring me things. Okay. I have one medium power pole. Gee, I wonder where that one medium power pole should go. It auto-placed. Not on the one that I wanted. Dang it. Dang it! Alright, where are the additional power poles. That would be great. Uh, they are on their way. I just don't see them. Oh, there's one. Hey, there's one. There's someone carrying power poles. Or a couple. How many, how many slots do you hold? Three? Four. 
These these guys hold four items at a time. So as soon as I get that delivery of that medium power pole. Momentarily. There we go. There's power poles. Oh, I have a bunch there. Now you have power. Ish. See, this is that... This is that issue that I pointed out that I needed to make sure that I did not fall into with that trap. Uh, it's all well and good to be able to place the uh, roboports down within range to actually have them placed by the bots. It's a total other matter entirely to make sure that they actually have power. Once they are placed, and have the the chain of the electricity be able to like have your bots place down that chain to make sure that when they place the roboport, it has power. Yeah, that helps. A bit. A bit. A bit. A bit. Uh, same thing down here. It's like okay, you also need power, and you also need power, and yeah, you also need power. For all of your things. Hey, now all of my Logibots have decided to catch up to me. Now they've caught up. Okay. I'm going to assume. Very, very dangerous. Dangerous thing to do. But I am going to assume that this will give me my blood. That I need going forward. The blood is going to be used to make blood meal, and I am going to need the fiber board for that. So that's going to be where we put on pause the nylon for now. The, ni the nylon will be put on pause for this moment in time. As I now switch over to doing the fiber board. Uh, so, am I carrying around everything that I need for this fiber board build? I probably don't have enough of the tar processing units. I likely only have 10 of those. Let me find... Yes, I only have 10. I need another few of those. And I probably don't have enough of the wood processing units either. Uh, but I should have everything else, including those pulp mills. And we should be good. And I am going to do this where? Here. This one. I have decided I will do it there. Come on, my minions. Give me my stuffs. Just gonna go over to my car slash my, my crawdad uh, to take the crawdad over wherever I parked that right there. Now there should be just a whole bunch of construction bots trickling their way in and placing down all of the everything. Hello, my bots. Thank you for all of the uh, wonderful transport belts. I need a lot of those. Thanks. Uh, do I need to be carrying around 20 casting units? Nah. No, I don't, I don't need to be carrying around 20 of those, just like I don't need to be carrying around 20 basic oxygen furnaces either. Where does that get requested? I would think it would be near the casting units, but apparently not. Oh, it's not being requested. Is it not? Hold up. Boffs. It is, it's just... It is set to 10. I just had 20. All right. Good to know. Very good to know. Now, I don't actually want 20 of you either, since I'm not focused on those anymore. Now, the other things, the, the washers, soil extractors, I very specifically carry around 40 soil extractors and 20 washers at all times. Uh, I very specifically carry around twice the amount that I need to do my standard tar build, so I can at least place down two of those tar builds uh, at any given time. 
If, if you were wondering why I carry around that specific amount of washers and soil extractors, that would be why. Uh, because I am just about to do exactly that, where I will be placing down... Uh, I probably want that... Excuse me. There, and... I'll go backwards for you. There should be fine. And I should have most everything I need. I'm pretty sure I'm short two water wells. Something along those lines. So I can mostly finish it. It's just the water wells are always the limiting factor. And the belt, of course, can be a limiting factor. But yeah, there's there's an entire... There's an entire 250 tar per second that I just plopped. And with this one finished, it'll be 500 tar per second on demand, wherever I want. Of course, that will double when I get to Mark II stuff. And yes, I am short by two water bells. Because of course I am. And some, and some belt, but that's fine. Looking forward, by the way, to having Mark II stuff. That will be a major, major major boon benefit once I do get access to the Mark II stuffs. But for now, uh, I will need a source of coke. Coke! Or solid fuel, or whatever you want to call it. I have yet to do the comparison, by the way, with the uh, stuffs and things. Did I get rid of my no, it just, they have to deliver those. Where are you, heavy oil refinery? There you are. Glorious and beautiful. You are making that for me. And as per usual, void. Supply the stuff. I hear, I hear Dolly. I see a Dolly. She's she's brought her she's brought her baby into the office now. She Dolly has brought her baby with her. She she must want to be uh she she wants to play. Always always time for playtime for the kittens. They 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 like the playtime. They love the playtime. I am out of loaders. What? She's she's buttering at me. She's she's buttering, butter, buttering. Meow. It's like I hear you. I I hear that. Not those little complaints. Yes, hi. Hey. That's yes. That's your that's your toy. Yes, that that that's her that's her toy. It's her it's her toy. Hey. Yes, that's your that's your toy. Take it. Play with it. Don't let it fall. Take it and be on my desk. Thanks. She'll she'll probably take it to the back of the chair. Like she usually does. I am not carrying around any belt or anything in this crawdad. I am surprised. Oh, she's taking it. She's taking it to my lap. What a what a nice little kitten you are. You you brought me your toy. Yes, I know. You brought me your toy. You brought me your baby. Huh? That's your baby. You gonna play with your baby? Or do you just want to have it here for for your own comfort? Any hoozle. I bots should be on their way. Yes, she has she has slumped herself onto my lap at this point. Yes. Yes, you want my you want my attention. She wants all of my attention all the time. Without fail, without stop. Oh hey, I got a I got a delivery. I now need you. 
Not much of you, though. That should be okay. Oh, God, I belt. Belt! Please! Help! Help! I need belt. I need, I need, I need belt. Come on, my minions. My many, many minions. I need regular belt. I don't need all that crap. I need belt. Belt! Well, wherefore art thou? There's some belt. There's some belt. She's about to fall off my lap. Oh, boy. Hi. Here's, here's your, here's your toy. Yes, here's, here's your toy. She's, she's hooked it. She's hooked it. There she goes. Ow. That's what you get with toys and kittens with, with, with claws. Eh. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie brought me his toy. He brought me his baby. This one's his baby. Yes, that's your baby. And he, he just threw it off. So there's there's the gray one with the with the ring tail. That one's Dolly. Uh, that one's Dolly's. And then this one this one is Chipmunk. I call this one Chipmunk. And this one Ollie really likes. This one's got some uh, balls of catnip inside of it right now. Oh hi, Ollie. You you took hers. You took her toy. Hey, take take that one. Hey, Dolly, go that way. Go fly off in another direction to find your toy. What did you do? He dropped it. Yes, there. You you like that toy. He like he likes he likes chipmunk, and and he likes flying squirrel. That thank you so much, my kittens, for the distraction while we wait on. Our Lachi bots to deliver uh, resources. Yes, yes, my boy. He is going at it. He is really going at it. He he plays pretty hard. Yes, that's that's your toy in your mouth. He hasn't dropped it yet. Now he has. Yeah, where'd it go? Hey. Where'd it go? Where'd Chip Where'd Chipmunk go? Where'd it go? You gonna get it? He he sniffs. He just he just sniffs. Sniffs or sniff? Yes yes yes. Yeah, you're looking. You're looking. Are you gonna go get it? <laughs> Are you gonna go get it? Yeah. Are you gonna go get it? Hi. He felt the tickle. It's like toy. Yes, I know. You'll, you're gonna, you're gonna get my finger. You're gonna get my finger. Huh? Yes, you're gonna, you're gonna give me, give me your claws. That's, that's claws. I feel that's, that's sharp. Yes, that's sharp claws. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, he'll fall and he'll be fine. He's, he's fallen off his, off the desk, and now he, now he just jumped from that height. Yes, he's he's fine. Like he's he's rolled off the desk twice to the floor. Uh, I've got the uh, I've got a towel on the desk, and when the towel's on the desk, it sort of hides the edge of the desk. So first time he did it, he was sleeping on the towel, and he just rolled. He rolled right off the edge and onto the floor the first time. The second time he did the very similar thing, except the second time he caught himself on my thigh with his claws. And uh, that was painful. I've got, I think, still the red scars from that several several weeks ago at this point. Ah, uh, yeah. He, he caught himself from, from completely hitting the floor with the full force of his body weight, but uh, sort of got my got his claws in my thigh in the process. That was not pleasant, to say the least. That was that was not pleasant. All right, let's continue this now that I actually have resources. Now that I have the resources, let's do this now. Uh, so. 
Steam. <laughs> that would be... 5.63 Coke. Yes, he is light. Ollie was the one who fell. Dolly has not fallen like that. Although, she does similar things. She always is claws out. Always claws out. Why not wood? Uh, I'm doing a thing on site. I don't want to just spend my wood. This is going to be brought in by train. So, yes, I could, I could wood, but I only have a certain amount of wood total. <laughs> like, sure, 14 wood per second for the amount of steam that I need. No, that's not gonna, that's not gonna be a thing. I'm going to be comparing how much tar I need to make the 5.63 versus the biomass from tar. That's my, that's my comparison here, is between the 28.13 biomass and the five something on the coke. Yeah, versus the heavy oil recipe that gives the, uh, the coke that I have right here that I need anyway, that I, that I tend to set up anyway to use for the voiding of stuff. Uh, so there's that which would mean this recipe right down here that would be a hundred and forty point seven tar to do it out of the biomass and to do it out of the coke that's stacked coke that's not coke that's not real coke uh, to do it through this, the coke from the heavy oil tar would be 84.38. Yeah, I'd call that better. I'd, I'd say that's better, right? That's, that's better than the other one? Yeah, like 85-ish. Uh, which means I just need to place down a second heavy oil refinery uh, and we're good just another heavy oil refinery and just you know bring the stuff in yeah 20 fewer buildings fewer fewer not not less fewer ah uh, god that's it's one of those annoying little things, English grammar. If you're dealing with a counted object, it's fewer, and it's always supposed to be fewer if you're dealing with a counted thing. Something that you can count versus a concept. Like a concept of money. You have, you have less money than something else. But you have you have fewer dollars, right? You have you have fewer dollars, but less money. Uh, English English is some some is flexible, yes, but uh, people, it's flexible in that people knowingly break the rules, and it's still comprehensible when the rules are broken. That's that's the flexibility of English. Is that? Excuse me, I did not call that name. Uh, that's the flexibility of English, is that you can break the rules and people will still understand you when the rules are broken. Uh, but you still should know that the rules are broken. Uh, that's the unfortunate other part about English, is that uh, people forget the rules and don't fully understand the rules because it's still understandable English. Oh, and for reference, I was one of those teachers who did the minus for mistakes. Not to that degree, but still. Uh, so story time, I was a... Uh, 
graduate teaching assistant for a bio, an intro biology lab, and uh, they have an assignment uh, that required that required writing, uh, writing up a lab report, quote unquote lab report, uh, to submit uh, as just practice, I guess, writing a more formalized lab report, just specific sections of a uh, of a paper ish it's not supposed to be all that much but there's one very key concept that they're supposed to learn through the writing of this research report and that was that there is a very clear distinction between your results and the discussion of the results results section is just talking specifics facts the things that you found in your uh experiment the actual reporting of the facts from the experiment the discussion is the interpretation of those facts so i had to well what i would do is i took a f small amount of points off for using interpretive language in the results section of the paper paper very like couple page write-up of an experiment they would do in the lab uh, because the, the part of the entire point of this exercise was to enforce the concept that you are not supposed to interpret your results in a results section of a paper so any anything that could be considered as interpretive language had would would get at the very least marked and uh, with me it was marked down slight amounts so yeah that was that was a thing that 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 was totally a thing totally a thing and I, I did it. I did it twice. I was... I, I taught labs... Labs two years. That same lab. Uh, for the uh, intro biology course. And they, they need to know not to use interpretive language in a results section of a scientific writing paper. If you're, if you're doing scientific writing, you don't do interpretation in a results section. That being said, a lot of scientists get, don't have separate results and discussion. They actually put a, like, actually label their header as results and discussion to get around the problem of not having interpretation in a results section. They, they combine the two sections, and that's the only time it's okay, but you still have to present the data before you interpret the data. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I need stuff, things, apparently 16 boilers for this. So there, there we go, 16 boilers, wow. That's 15. One more. There we go. There's your 16 boilers. Yeah, I mean, if it... Like, I can understand deductions for misspellings of words. Uh, if the class is an English class, or like in in a language class, yeah, definitely that that should be expected that you would lose points for misspellings and things like that. But like even like even I specifically, I did not deduct for things like misspellings, poor grammar. What I deducted very specifically was uh, that I math out the heavy oil usage. 
Like I, I'm not even using heavy oil. I'm not even using it. I'm just, de I'm just deducting it. Like I, I don't. I'm not gonna put in oil burners to do the oil, the heavy oil. Especially since it's three to one tar in the heavy oil. I know that for certain. It's three to one, but uh, uh, so twenty-eight point one three times point eight. Uh, for the megawatts. Uh, and then... Uh, 937.5. Well, it's 1.8 for every 60. So divide by 60, divide by 1.8. Um, divide by 0.8. Yeah, this, this might actually be enough. Heavy oil. Uh, you. That. That. No, it's 35.16. This, that, I mean, this is actually accurate. So it's, it is 35.16. Uh, heavy oil would mean I would need more stuff. So no, it's, it's better to just use the coke out of this than to, uh, burn. That, uh, for the coke, there's, there's that comparison there it's less tar using the coke than it is to uh, use the uh, other stuff okay this needs water and a whole bunch of pipe why does fiberboard use so much steam why does it have to use so much steam I don't know I I do not know I need a train station let's let's do the train station now that sounds like a wonderful idea. Yes, the lowest amount of tar would be to use everything, but... Yes, why? Because pain. Yes, obviously. Because difficulty! Because difficulty. That's why. Yeah, so yeah, now that people are actually here, now that now that there are genuine people watching, uh, I can reiterate a point that I made uh, towards the beginning of the stream, of the stream an hour ago, uh, that being that uh, I am now subscribed to the Xbox Game Pass for PC. I have I have subscribed to the to that thing. Uh, and I subscribed to it. I subscribed to it like hours before they Microsoft announced that they would be adding in the uh EA Play games to the service. So the Xbox Game Fa Game Pass for PC is a subscription service that gives you access to a very, very large library of video games uh, through Microsoft. So it's a lot of a lot of Microsoft stuff, a lot of the Microsoft published stuff. It's it's got even uh, like Obsidian interactive titles on there. Um, lots of indie games. Uh, but in particular, I was I've been wanting to try Crusader Kings three. And it's part of this service right now. So, yeah, Crusader Kings 3 is on the Xbox Game Pass. So I've been able to try it, and I've made the determination that I don't think I would be even remotely interested in actually buying it at this point in time. It it doesn't... I'm I'm not hooked by it. I am I'm not hooked in by that one. Uh, but there are several games that are, like, on my I want to try this or this is directly on my wish list type of a thing that I haven't bought. So, yeah, that. And then the, the thing about the subscription, first month of the subscription is $1 for, for the first month. Uh, and when I sign up for it, because it was beta, it was going to be $5 per month thereafter. However, they just announced... It's exiting beta 
So now the subscription price is going to be ten dollars per month, nine ninety nine, uh, for this service. Um, that means it's one hundred and twenty dollars a year. But as long as you are interested in playing two new release titles at release as they're released onto the service at release for any Microsoft published title, it's worth it. Especially since there seems to be a trend now to actually make new games be $70 rather than $60. Uh, yeah, getting them on the Game Pass is still going to be worth it. Honestly, plus you have access to the entire catalog of titles on there. And there's some pretty big names in that catalog at the moment. Some things I own, some things I don't, some things I've been meaning to play, some things I've been meaning to buy, but I haven't bought. So, yeah, I am I think that it is really good value for what it is, even at 10 dollars per month it's pretty good value it's like it's really it's really good value cyberpunk is not going to be on the xbox game pass that is one thing that uh has been confirmed not happening is cyberpunk 2077 that that i do know with 100 percent certainty was confirmed by CD Projekt Red that it would not be on Xbox Game Pass at launch, at minimum, at launch. It may never be on there. I know that the other C I don't think any of the other CD Projekt Red stuff has been put onto the Xbox Game Pass. And now everything through EA Play is going to be on there through the base subscription to EA Play, which is another subscription service for EA titles. So all of the base EA Play subscription titles are also now going to be part of the Xbox Game Pass included. And then the, the pass is going to be $10 now. So yeah, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good deal. Pretty good deal if you ask me for all of the big EA titles as well, considering how many sports games they have in particular i am nowhere even remotely closely interested in anything in regards to sports but it's a really good value for those people who are very good value for those who are uh let's see let's 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 continue i need to request wood at what is this fiber board uh and i need to request what sulfuric R sulfuric at fiberboard. By the way, sulfuric technically, if if you want to be very very technical, it is F uh, for sulfuric, uh, and it is F for sulfur because that's what the IU can or whatever the heck they're called. The an actual international chemistry thing has declared that the name of sulfur is spelled with an F, so it's sulfuric with an F. Uh, the, uh, the pH is British English, and it's actually not recognized as an alternative spelling by that chemistry board. Aluminium is a valid alternative spelling of aluminum, although the pri the primary spelling is still al aluminum, not aluminium, but it is a recognized, uh, alternative by that board there is one other element that has an alternative spelling in british english that is also recognized and that is cesium cesium uh the british spelling has c-a-e uh that that little weird combined a-e <laughs> i i don't even know what that is called that uh, specific character but it's the the a e combined that that british spellings have same that it's the same character used in paleontology in uh in british spellings but yeah that this the cesium uh the english spelling c e s uh has the alternative c a e s in uh the British spelling. 
uh, that is recognized by the 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 chemist international chemistry thing. I I you can I'm pretty sure some along those lines. Something like that. Anyway, what what else do I need? I need uh, R kickalk at fiberboard. Uh, and I need sodium hydroxide. That is the other thing I need. That is the other thing I need. Now, where do I have underslung? I have underslung here. Right here. But I need to do a little bit of a fix. First, you. There. I really should just make that part of my... Part of my overall blueprint, that shifting. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Not yet, you. Like so. Oh yeah, I have to do a little bit more. I have to do a little bit more work. Uh, get rid of that because I don't want your name popping up. Yes, there we go. Ta-da! Stuff things. And this will be our... Come on. Caps lock, I swear. R blah yes blah R blah N A O H at fiberboard. Uh that is that, right? Like I'm not I'm not blind this time. Speaking of blindness, my goodness, I was blind with the Crastorio playthrough. Wow, I was blind. I was I was so blind. Uh, with Crastorio. Uh, I built 20 mining drills for iron. Aren't I missing a signal? I mean, I... Yes. To, uh, there. There. Two signals. I was blind. I was calculating 10 mining drills when I had 20 on that iron. So... Yeah, that that was a slight mistake. I fix it for the episode going live later today, but there is another error that I only thought about after the recording of that video, so I'm sure there's going to be another comment about this next error that I did after I further expanded my iron uh, on that Crestorio playthrough. Uh, and that was, I did not take into account... I did, I did not take into account throughput. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, so, I have a setup that is proper for my initial iron now. Like, the, the first line of 20 mining drills, I fixed its two separate sets of furnaces. Uh, doing the smelting that are eight furnaces long each, so it's 16 total furnaces doing the 10 iron ore per second in total. However, I added another set of 20 mining drills, mining iron, and did a single line of 16 furnaces for that line of 20, it can't work when I'm combining the coal on one of the lanes of that belt. I'm limited to 7.5 throughput, not 10. So it's like, ah, uh, it's to me, that's a very obvious mistake. And I'm sure it's going to be pointed out and I will be fixing it for this next episode. 
that I will be recording tomorrow. That I will be recording tomorrow. Alright, let me also note that I need to change that. And have the, uh... You know what, I'm just gonna do the thing. Get the wires down. R sulfuric at kickalk. At kickalk? No, at fiberboard. What am I thinking? So glad that that bug has been fixed, by the way, with TSM. It has, it has finally been truly and thoroughly fixed. Uh, that bug with the, uh, with the names. And on the renames. About time it finally had gotten fixed. Kick Elk all the way down here. Somewhere. Kick Elk. Kick Elk. There. Oops. I found it and then I misclicked on it. There you go. Kick Elk. Wait, what? Oh, god dang it. It renamed the thing. R, what the hell were you again? Wood. At. Fiberboard. Technically, I should have a one at the end, just in case. Gib Wood. And you. You gib sodium hydroxide. Which is what again? Which of these many tabs is sodium hydroxide again? It is rot wars. All the way down here. I never expect sodium hydroxide to be under rot wars, which is always how I remember it. It's like it's the one that it's not that you don't know it to be. That you don't expect it to be. Yeah, excuse me, but sodium hydroxide? I never made the train. Should they always be identical? They don't have to be. Uh, they do not have to be identical. I just do that because. Because I feel like it. I did that for a reason. Um, I want my trains sitting here. Right? I want I want my trains to sit here. If I have if I have, because I just saw that happen. Uh, the wood line. This was. This was not. Available. And, there there was a train there, and then the next train, came in and it went all the way over here. That, that train went all the way over here and sat as the other one was leaving. I don't want that ha to happen. I want it to sit here, actually. So I have to, like, adjust that on a whole bunch of stuff now. Uh, but yeah, with, with Train Supply Manager, the uh, sourcing priority icons are arbitrary. Completely, 100%, totally arbitrary. It does not matter what you actually use. I happen to just put the two icons of the same thing of what I'm actually providing there. It can be literally anything uh, for your icons, the, the resource and the ID. It can be completely anything. All that matters is the actual depot that's been defined. Like, only the depot matters. It does not care what's actually inside of any of the uh, wagons. That's the primary benefit of Train Supply Manager is that it doesn't know or care about what's actually inside of the wagons on the trains. Unlike Train Supply Man or uh, unlike LTN, uh, the logistic train network, 
Uh, that one does care about what's in trains. It does care and it does matter. It matters a lot uh, about it knowing. And it uses a ton of performance because of that. It uses a lot of uh, scripting to really understand and know as part of the full uh, circuit network what's inside of the train wagons and what to assign to train wagons. Uh, and in a very large base with multiple trains, it's going to be using a lot of uh, script performance just to do that because it's circuits. Why did I just put stuff in my thingy? I wanted to actually... Here, here I am trying to throw stuff into my trash slots, and I am not actually throwing stuff into my trash slots. I went right past where I wanted to go. Or no, I'm not there yet. I'm like, huh, I'm, I'm, I'm going here, right? No, I'm going, I'm going here. Yeah, it... The train supply manager is much lighter on performance impact uh, for bigger bases. Uh, even though you'll end up with a lot more trains running around. Like the actual, the actual performance of trains is practically non-existent in all for for all intents and purposes. It basically doesn't exist. You need thousands of trains before it really starts getting impactful. And yeah, people do talk about in vanilla like, hey, having a whole bunch of intersections is really bad for performance with lots of trains doing pathfinding and all that. And I'm sure it does add up if you have lots and 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 lots of trains. However, I think compared to vanilla, you're still using less trains, fewer trains. Fewer. And uh, you don't have to worry as much about the pathfinding uh, in that case. Uh, but TSM is still pretty lightweight. The the benefits that it gives, uh, I think I much prefer. Uh, so this one's sodium hydroxide supply to demand full cargo and circuit condition, and you are good to go. I have no idea what the actual mechanic is behind the uh, train pathfinding. Uh, this is... Hold up. Not stacked. I really only did a belt. What's the what stuff between the train tracks? I don't know what you mean by black stuff. There's gray st Oh, there's there's this black stuff. This is next lit tile. This is next lit tile. And then this is the uh, stone brick. I've got stone brick under the rails. And then I've got next lit tile between. The next lit tile has a plus 240% walking speed boost. Which is why I'm using it. Uh, I want more. I want, I want like more. I want more of the everything with this. So I'm going to make more of the everything. I'm going to make my bots do it for me. That's another good thing about this build. It's like, okay, I just do that. Get rid of that, uh train stuff and uh yeah just uh just grab it paste it uh what would be better can i fit no short answer uh nah That works. 
stretch? You want the you want the stretch? Ah, <sighs> uh, yes, big stretch about four minutes before the before the break, the halfway point. Yes, all the all the stretch, all the stretching. Ah, uh, yes, definitely, definitely need all of the stretchy. Speaking of which, there is totally a page to like do all the rewards. Yeah, that's that's that that's all that's all done. Hello, hi, hello, Ollie. Hi, my Ollie. Yeah, you wanna you wanna you wanna come say hi? Yeah. Hello. Is that my Ollie? My pretty pretty boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's my my pretty Ollie. He's pretty gray boy. Very, very gray. Gray with like silver and bald spots. Bald spot. Bald spots. Right by right by his eyes. Hi. And you got a silver nose. You've also got tabby. Black tabby stripes. Although, good luck seeing them. Good luck seeing the black tabby stripes. Oh, now he's now he's on my lap, but I'm getting up in like three minutes. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Hi. You're gonna like fall. You're, you're gonna you're gonna fall like that. There we go. Better positioning. Okay. Pretty sure that this is all self starting, but anyway. I'm gonna do this. It's not even remotely correct throughput wise. I am lazy. I'm just gonna put in extra lines. Sure, why the heck not? Um Sure, we'll like share all the all the stuff. Um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a doohickey. I mean, it would be better if this was, like, you know, closer, but, yeah. Cut. Post- posture check as well. Post- posture must- must be within the frame. Within- within the frame. Alright, this is all gonna be removed. There you go. Have I had any issues with bulk rail letters? Uh, no. I've had I have had I've had exactly no issues with bulk rail letters when I have uh, set it to be able to load anything. Uh, there's a setting that by default is set to only do uh, or. Uh, but you can, you can just tell it to do more than that, to do anything. There is a setting. There is always a setting. Hello, my Ollie. Yes, you know, it's, you know, it's time to go. You know, it's time to go, my Ollie. I, I picked up a couple of those guys, too. You crashed your game. Wow. I I don't know why it would do that. Don't know why it would do that. I've I've had them built by bots, I've had them built by nanobots, I have them wired. Of course I don't wire the bulk loaders. I wire the unloaders, not the loaders. And are you even defined? I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. Here, have have another. Right before we go on to break, I'm just gonna like add 
that train. Let it go. It already filled. I'm like, no, no, no. No, you didn't. No, you did not. That's... I just like that it does that sometimes. It just goes without actually being full cargo. Uh, I've had... My main issue that I've had with wires is that having bots placing blueprints that are supposed to have wires between them have not placed the wire between them. That's the that's the main thing. So you know how this has a wire going from one to the other? When my bots place these down, I don't have that wire. Even if I copy and paste it with that wire, it just doesn't end up with that wire. That's like the biggest thing that I've had is just not having that wire on one of the requests on um, the bulk loaders. Uh, it will put the wire between the, the things here, but it will not put it between these two for some weird reason. Anyway, it's halfway through the stream. So with that, it is it is time to take a brief few minute break. Uh, for those of you watching the VODs on YouTube, thank you so very much for watching. Do all the social stuff, etc, etc. I will be back on the next one. For those watching live, I will be back in a few minutes. Mm -hmm.